Meantime, firefighters are working feverishly to spare more homes and keep the flames from spreading farther than those estimated boundaries. Today, officials released a preliminary list of the homes they know for sure burned. That is online right now for you at KXAN.com, and they'll be updating that list daily as they make their way into now dangerous neighborhoods. KXAN's Doug Shoup joins us live from the Bastrop County Command Post with more. Doug? Well, Leslie, State Representative Tim Kleinschmidt's office invited us along for a tour inside some of the devastated Bastrop County neighborhoods. And for the first time today, we got an up close look at what was lost. And as you are about to see, there is tremendous hardship and need here in Bastrop County. It's hard to imagine how so many people could lose so much so fast. I've seen fires from the air before. And this one is so much larger that, that that just grabs you right off. Both in the Cola Vista and Tahitian Village neighborhoods, fire gutted homes, charred cars, trucks, and RVs, and scorched yards. But it also spared some property. You can have one car out in the driveway that's just totally burned and one 10 feet away that, that doesn't look like it's touched. Uh, you can have four houses in a row and three of them will burn and one of them will, will not be burned. What did catch on fire, though, is destroyed. The lives of these people, the people that live here in, in Bastrop, Texas, Bastrop County, are going to be affected for a long time. In a lot of the homes that we saw today, there's not much left. In this house, where we did have permission to be, there are no ceilings, barely any walls, just a fireplace over here where the living room once was, and over here where the kitchen used to be, just some charred appliances. The rest, there's just piles of ash and rubble. Utter devastation. You know, it's heartbreaking to me as fire chief that I've, on my watch, lost this many homes. And I can't explain it. Bastrop Fire Chief Henry Perry says despite all the destruction, the firefighters fought hard. My guys, the guys that are in here, worked their tails off to save these homes. In Bastrop State Park, two-thirds of the trees are gone. Burned out trunks are toppling over. The fire chief says firefighters have wanted to fight the flames even when it was too dangerous to. You bet you we had close calls. One of my battalion chiefs told me he had said his prayers, thought he was gone and drove out of it. State Representative Tim Kleinschmidt says the hope now is for no more loss of life and for continued help for those who've lost everything but their lives. There's probably a large number of these homes that were not insured and will be very difficult to replace for, for those families. And so it's a huge loss and, and uh, we can only hope that, that the response from both the state and the federal level will, will come in and help these people as, as much as possible. Now, Representative Kleinschmidt says even those who did not lose their homes probably won't be able to live in them for several weeks. That's because restoring power to the burned out neighborhoods will take some time. To see more of those pictures from the neighborhoods that we saw today, just log on to our website, KXAN.com. Reporting live in Bastrop tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN News. And Bastrop County officials have taken.